Hi, all my wonderful artists. So today we are going to work on drawing a seascape. That's a funny word, isn't it? A seascape. So a seascape is a drawing of the sea. And in our sea are some fish. And I have a starfish, if you can find it. He's kind of hard to see. Where's he at? Up oh, right here. So there's my two fish. And I also did the background, so what's behind it. I did some bubbles up above them. I did some plants on the bottom and some rocks. So we're going to draw our shapes. Remember, we've been talking about shapes. And then we're going to draw our background. So do you know what shapes are on here that you can see? I see three right off the bat. I see circles. I see an oval. And I see a star. So those are all shapes that we talked about. So what you need today is you need paper and either markers or crayons. I'll leave it up to you which one you want to use. And we're going to start with our oval. So if we remember, our oval is a stretched out circle. So instead of being perfectly round, it's like somebody's pulling it apart. Okay, so I'm going to do my oval right here. And that's going to be this fish, the tall skinny one. So we have his body, and what we need next is his fins. Now his fins aren't actually a shape that you can see. What they're, or what, you can see it, sorry, excuse me. But you probably don't have a name for it, right? So it's not a triangle, it's not a square. What is it? Do we know? It's called an organic shape. And an organic shape is just one that is curvy and flows. So instead of being like this and very jagged, it curves. Okay. It's an object that doesn't, or a line that doesn't really have a name. Okay. It's just an organic shape. So I did two organic shapes on his body. Those are his fins. Now we have to do our big round one. So remember, that's a circle. Circles are round like balls, right? Like if you play basketball, you've seen a circle. Or if you have a basketball hoop, it's a circle. If you play soccer, tennis, any of those shapes have circles in them. All right, so we're gonna do our organic shape. Now, if you notice on my picture, I made his fins really big. He's really silly looking, so I'm going to do him a little smaller on here. Now, I'm going to add some smaller ones, too. I'm do a middle one. A middle one, and I've got to do their organic shapes, their fins. Those are the organic. All right. Now, what do they need to see? What about their eyes? Eyes, right? What, what shape are they? Are they square? Are they a triangle? So you know they're a circle. So his eyes can either go on the top like this and be kind of silly looking. They could kind of cross over. They could be inside. Okay, it's up to you where your eyes are. The only thing you need to do is draw two circles for each fish and do a little dot inside to make it look like it's actually an eye. All right, there's my fishy. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to decorate their bodies. So I could do stripes. I could do polka dots. I could just do squiggly lines. Okay. So you have to decide what they're going to look like. What colors are they going to be? All right. So he has curvy lines. He also needs a smile. Don't forget to make yours happy. All right, this one's just going to have a curved belly. So I'm going to color different colors. He's going to have polka dots. And 
then she's gonna have a little squinty blue line. Okay, you can also add stuff to their hands. You could do curved lines here. Okay, it's up to you what you do. You need to decide what your fish is gonna look like. So I'm gonna move you a little closer so you can see my fish better. And then we're gonna start on the background, okay? So here's my fish right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start drawing the background, which includes the plants, the sand, the bubbles, the water. If you have any starfish or rocks, it includes that. So you need to do the line that goes from one side to the other where your sand is. So my paper, we're gonna pretend starts right here. And it's gonna go over and it's gonna stop right here, okay? Since I'm not actually on a paper. All right, so there's my sand. Then I need to draw the plants, okay? So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a rock and it's just gonna be a curved shape. I'm gonna go ahead and color it in. And then what it's gonna have is squiggly lines running up it. Remember those are called organic shapes that I'm gonna come back and color in later. So there is one, two, three plants. I could do another rock down here. I'm gonna color him in too. If you remember how to draw a star, you could add a starfish. I'll go over it again one more time. So a triangle shape one on the side, another on the side, and two on the bottom. So you could add a starfish. There's my starfish. You could add a few more plants if you want to. Okay, so it's up to you how many plants you have. I did five, and I might do one over here on the edge. I'm going to do another rock for him to be attached to. And I'm going to do some squiggly lines up here. All right, so there's my plants. Now, I am going to add some bubbles. And all I'm going to do for that is just some circles. I'm going to do some big circles and some little circles. There's my circles. And again, I'll move the computer closer in just a minute. And then all that's left to do is color in your picture. So what color are your plants gonna be? Are they green? Are they purple? I don't know, you have to color them in. So your water is probably gonna be blue and your sand is probably gonna be kind of a light brown color, but everything else is up to you. Okay, but I do want you to color in the whole paper. Don't leave anything white, all right? If you see with mine, the only thing that I left white was around the eyes. I colored in this a really light blue. Okay, but everything should be colored in. So I want you to color your picture in, decorate your fish so they look beautiful, okay? Do the best job you can. And then hopefully I will either see a picture of your artwork over email or message, or you can show me during our Zoom, okay? Go and watch the video after and you can learn how to count your fish. All right, bye guys and girls.